Hi there, students. A friend of mine said to me the other day, You know, speaking English is a double-edged sword. It's a two-edged sword. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, at work, I speak English. I'm the only person in the office who speaks English. And it's good because I have more promotion opportunities and I get a better salary. But the problem is, I have to work much harder than the other people who don't speak English because there's lots and lots and lots of work to be done in English. So it's a two-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword. Yeah? It has benefits, but it has drawbacks. It has a negative effect as well. Okay? So this is the same as the verb of the, the verb to cut both ways or to cut two ways of the video that I just made. Okay? So a double-edged sword is something that cuts two ways. Apparently, this double-edged sword comes from Arabic. Yes, it's of Arabic origin, this phrase. Okay, so a double-edged sword, it's something that has a positive effect and a negative effect as well. Very often, perhaps, the negative effect is not obvious. The cost or the risk is not obvious. Yeah, and maybe you find out about it later. Yeah? Okay, a double-edged sword. Um, so, going out all night and partying is a double-edged sword. Let's see, you have a lot of fun, but the next day you have to work and you're totally exhausted. Yeah? So it's a double-edged sword. Yeah? There's a, a cost to it as well. Okay? So, something that cuts both ways, a double-edged sword. Yeah, think about it literally. A sword with two edges. It can cut this way, and it can cut this way. Yeah? One way is good, one way is bad, and that's the idea. Okay? So, a double-edged sword. The same as to cut both ways. So, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.